Hello friends, welcome to our website automationcommunity.com. In this video, we have seen the ladder programming for automatic stamping machine. In this video, we are going to see its HMI designing. So let us start our Dobsoft HMI software from here. Let us click on the new file and uh, let us select this screen resolution because we want a high resolution screen. And here, let us write the name of our project. Click next. And here in the communication, we have to select our simulator, then click on the finish button. So first of all, we have to draw conveyor and its animation. So for that, we will select start graphic and draw a box like this. Double click over it. So we want three states and let us give pictures. First of all, select the zero state and we are going to use vector pen library for the animation of rotation. So let us select this image for zero state. Similarly for one state, again we will go to vector pen library and select this image. And again for this last state, we will go to same library and select this image and the important thing is to give address. So for animations, we use internal memory. So for this, let us use internal memory one and click OK. So what we have done, we have created one state graphic with three states and internal memory one. So by changing the value of internal memory one, we are going to change its images and it will appear like rotating animation. Okay. So just copy paste this like this. Now we want to create conveyor animation. So for that, you can go to here and select pipe six and draw like this. So here you can see uh, square bars are created and here in the flow cursor type, you can see the conveyor, okay? So if you want bubble arrows or we are using conveyor, so it will appear like conveyor animation. So here we are going to give it internal memory 2. So by changing the value of internal memory 2, we will change the state of this animation. Okay. So similarly copy paste this and keep it here and change its internal memory to internal memory 3. So what we will do, we will turn on this towards right hand side and this animation towards left hand side. So the complete this assembly will look like conveyor is moving. So for that, we also have to write one macro code that we will do later, okay? Now, we want one output indication over here like this. So this is for off condition. Our cylinder is on or off. So here in, I will write in short form, that is cylinder off. So let us make it bold and increase its size. Okay. Similarly, here we will write cylinder on. Also make it bold and increase its size and let it give green color. And important thing, its address that is Y2. So this is our stamping cylinder. We also want to give its animation. So for that, we are going to use a bar graph. Okay. So that we can insert from here normal. Okay. And draw it like this. Double click over it and select. We have to select vertical. So from the data format, we will select top. Okay. So let us select this bottom. Okay. And also change its color that you can change from here. And we have to give its internal address. For this animation, we are going to use internal address 4. So what we will do? When this cylinder is on, this bar will move towards downward up to here. So it will appear like this cylinder has moved downward. And when this cylinder is off, this bar will move upward. So its animation will be like this cylinder is up now. Okay. Now only thing is 
we want to give start stop button over here so for that go to button and select maintain button and draw a box like this double click over it so its address will be x0 and its image we can insert from this library define switch to state so i am going to use this kind of image okay so right now for off condition let us use this and i will select stretch all over here similarly for on condition we have to select image this image for on condition against stretch all so its designing is completed so this is our start stop switch for our project now we want to numeric inputs from user so for that we will write you can see input from here numeric entry so i will draw a box like this double click over it let us make it standard border color this and the background color this from here and we can also increase its text size okay important thing its address so this is going to be in d408 as i told in previous video just copy paste this for another entry and just we need to change its address that is 410 first one is number of rotations and second one is for stamping time stamping time for how much duration you want this cylinder in downward position now we need to add text box over here so select text box from here and draw a box like this so what we will write over here enter number of turns let us make it bold and increase its size click okay similarly copy paste this and what we will write over here enter stamping time okay again click okay now again we will add one text box to the main heading that is the title of our project so here i will write let us make it bold and change its color you can align it center and also change its fonts from here there are so many fonts right now i am just keeping it arial and increase its size click okay now important thing over here we need to write macro code so first of all i will write screen open macro so let us write internal memory 4 equals to 20 this is the starting value of this cylinder so it will be 20 so it will appear like this okay now close this and update yes now we will write cycle macro screen cycle macro so first of all click on the macro wizard and go to commands comparison if and then if on and here let us write y2 enter and update macro close this dialog box so you can see one syntax is written in our screen cycle macro so what this means if our y2 is on then this if block will execute okay so what we want to execute over here we want to increase the value of internal memory 4 to 100 and otherwise this value should be 20 so this is this cylinder stamping cylinder 100 means it will be completely down and if this cylinder is off it will be at up okay and we have to end this loop so we will write end if similarly we will write macro code for this conveyor animation so how we will do that just copy paste this this time we want to compare our output y0 if our y0 output is on then internal memory 1 will keep increasing its value by 1 so here we will write internal memory 1 equals to internal memory 1 plus 1 okay besides this we want animation for this pipes okay so these are the conveyor animations so here i will write internal memory 2 equals to 2 because 0 if i write 0 over here it will there will be no motion okay if i write 1 over here it will be the motion towards left side and if i write 2 over here this motion will be right side okay so here i am writing 2 and internal memory 3 
I will write one because upside we want right direction movement and here we want left direction movement. And here I will write else if y zero is off, then what should happen? All these values should be zero. Okay, so that I will make over here. All these values should be zero. Means if y zero is off, then this conveyor animation should stop. Okay, here I will end my loop by end if. I will write another if loop if internal memory one becomes equals to three. When we are writing if loop, if instruction in that conditioning, we use double equals to. Otherwise, we use one equals to only. So if this condition occurs, internal memory one should become zero. Okay, and end this loop. Now, what is meaning of this code? If you remember, I have given three images. For this fan animation, okay, so that will show the images for three values of internal memory one, zero, one, and two. After that, it will not show any images. So for that, we I have to reset this value. So from this instruction, what will happen? It will start from zero, then it will become one, it will become two, and when this internal memory one becomes three, it will again start from zero. So only three images will keep coming over here. So it will give animation of rotating image. Okay. So this is all about my macro code. Close this and update yes. So almost my design is completed. Now it's time to simulate this. So first of all, open your ladder programming, and we have to compile this from here and download it from here to our simulator. So click on transfer. Now close this. Also close this and. Let us click on online button and don't forget to enable this bit while doing simulations and click on run button. Now again open your Dobsoft HMI and click on offline simulation. So first of all before starting we have to enter values from here. Right now you can see all values are zero. So first of all if I write five turns over here so you can see a multiplication is done from here and this 2000 value is written in this plsy instruction so here we are converting the value given from user that is in number of turns and we are converting it to number of pulses okay because in the ppt we have seen for one revolution there is 400 pulses to be given now similarly this is the timer hundreds millisecond timer if i have to give one second i have to write 10 over here so for example if i want 5 seconds delay. So here it should be 50. Here I have written 5, but here it is 50. So that is coming from here, from this mathematical operation. Okay. So this was use of these two mathematical operations. Now this is our start button. Okay. You can see from here. As soon as I will start this, PLSY instruction will execute and it will turn on this Y0 for 2000 pulses after that because this bit will turn on it will stop this instruction so let us check that you can see our conveyor is moving this is moving like animation this is moving right this is moving down as soon as this bit will turn on it will turn on our cylinder right now you can see our number of pulses has increased now for after 5 seconds after 5 seconds this t0 turned on and that resetted our whole outputs. You can see because this instruction completed, PLS7 instruction completed, this bit turned on that started our cylinder and timer. Okay, again, watch this and observe this. Once I have started the button, the system is operating automatically. Now, product is moving. Okay, as soon as the product will reach to here. This conveyor will stop, and that you can set from your number of turns. Okay, now product has reached to here, so conveyor is stopped, and cylinder is down to stamp over the product. And this system is working automatically. And if I stop this, you can see everything is stopped. Okay, so this was the another real life example that we have discussed in this video. If you want to learn more examples like this, show your interest by liking and subscribing our YouTube channel. Meet you in the next video with another interesting example.